This looks like the water is flowing down on a glass plane. Well, kind of, because the water is actually flowing upside down. So I reversed the Minecraft's code in this video. What if the upside down water met with lava? Interestingly, it creates a flat plane. This is a normal water block flowing. Now this is a reverse water block flowing. It flows inwards. And I don't think they make anything when they meet. Yep, nothing still. <laughs> what happens if I try to go in the water? Oh my gosh, I cannot move. Do, 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 do. Whoa. Oh yes, it freaking works. Yes. This is the water elevator, but it goes backwards. Uh, oh, oh, oh. This is the reverse water flowing down on the pyramid. My goal is to suck off all these entities on the bottom to here. As you see, the reverse water is doing a pretty good job doing so. And when these mobs reach the top, they get sucked into this water pole. And then they fall back down and it's repeated. I think this is pretty cool to watch. So I've made this thing even more cursed by uh, making it so that I drown when I'm in the air. And in order to gain my bubbles back, I have to go back in the water. So I'm basically like a water creature. So this pig cannot breathe because it's outside of water. Oh, okay, good, good. get in the water, get in the water, get in the water. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. I just saved this pig, okay? Bruh, I would rather die than be in your video. And this card is thriving because it's a water animal. Okay, now things are getting even more serious because this time I've made it so that you gain health when you're supposed to get damaged and you get damaged when you are supposed to be healing. So as you see right now, I'm currently at full hunger points, and that is why I am losing health points. Because I'm regenerating health. So I'm gonna give myself uh, an apple, and this is gonna make myself uh, regenerate even more, and that's gonna take even more of my health points away. Yeah, I am not drowning. <laughs> uh, so in order to save myself, I have to damage myself. If I fall from a 40 box distance, I'm gonna be getting even more health points because um, everything's reversed. I can never die from a warden because this guy can never damage me. I'm gonna make all the movements backwards. If I just let myself go, I'm gonna be floating in the sky because everything's reversed. So I have to um, turn myself into creative mode and then in order to go down, I have to fly upwards. So I'm pressing the space key right now to go down. And if I press a double key, I'm gonna be going backwards. And if I press an S key, I'm gonna be going forward. So everything's reversed. I cannot really do anything because even if I spawn a villager, they're gonna be just uh, floating in the sky. So I'm gonna make the gravity um, normal. Okay, villager, boom, and a zombie, boom. And the zombie is trying to get to the villagers, and that's why it's going backwards and moving away from the villager. And the villager is trying to move away from the zombie, and that's why it's somewhat moving away from the zombie. And these guys are having a blast still. This time I've made the spawning mechanism completely opposite. And uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so oh my gosh, this is gonna be extremely laggy. Oh my god, why are zombies spawning in the middle of the day? <laughs> that is so weird. And also they do not die from fall damages because um, the health points are reversed. <laughs> glow squid, I like this random glow squid, yeah? And the reason why they spawn in the mid-air is because they're not supposed to be spawning in the mid-air. That's why it spawns in the mid-air. So I can make the animal spawn a little bit too often. Okay, this is gonna be disastrous. Let's see. <laughs> oh no. So every single mob that is not supposed to be spawning right here is spawning right now. And yeah, the sky is filled with mosquito-looking things. Oh my god. And they do not die when they hit the ground because... Uh, they're stupid. And also, I'm gonna show you guys this one. So, the resin lamp <laughs> turns on by default. And uh, same goes with the, the redstone dust, yeah? But, 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 if I place on a resin torch, it makes them darker. Boom. <laughs> and I've also made the pistons a little bit different because, uh, because, uh, because I wanted to, okay? <laughs> That's so stupid. Yes, it does work. You can push bedrock as well. And uh, you know how I also want to uh, increase XP's when you're playing Minecraft? Well, I made the XP's decrease the will to live. Whoa, 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 boom, 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 boom. And as soon as your XP goes over 10, your screen becomes a little bit distorted. <laughs> Bottle of enchanting. Yeah, I think I've completely taken away my will to live now. What if grass blocks and dirt blocks changed places? So this dirt will infect all of these grass blocks. Oh my gosh, it's working. Yes! <laughs> Instead of the grass blocks infecting the dirt block, it is completely reversed. So we have flipped the Minecraft mechanics, but what if the entire game was reversed? And that's exactly how it's meant to be. 
because that is literally sword of justice. It takes somebody took Minecraft's code, flipped it inside out, and said, yeah, let's make it beautiful. You can build, explore a massive world, and even have AI companions that fight with you, like as if villagers actually had a brain. I'm over here getting destroyed by negative gravity, while Sword of Justice gives you actual storylines, zero pay to win, and graphics that look like a console game, but it's on mobile. And yes, it's also available on PC. They even let you build your own manor, decorate however you want, and farming mechanic that is identical to Minecraft. So yeah, while I'm deleting physics, Sword of Justice is deleting every boring MMO ever. The game is out now, link below. I will see you in the battlefield. What happens if the water meets lava? Will it generate cobblestones or obsidian? So, I've made obsidian and cobblestone blocks flow. And when they meet, they create water blocks. And when the cobblestone blocks meet the obsidian, it creates lava blocks. Because of reasons. So this is a sand that acts like water. Oh my god, I've freaking made this. I don't even know how I made this, but... <laughs> <laughs> this one looks like my inside, and the water is acting like solid blocks. Let's get up there. Boom. Let's just see. It's freaking solid. <laughs> this is the most cursed thing ever. What if the TNT is made blocks instead of uh, destroying blocks? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, boom. <laughs> so, as you see, the TNT blocks have made stone block. And I think it also destroyed the dirt block as well. Yeah, like that. Like that. There we go. Whoa. Yes, it is working. It's it's kind of working. Yeah. Yeah, that is really cool. <laughs> so let's do um this. And then let's see what happens if a bunch of TNTs explode. Will it make a bunch of rocks? I think so. And yes, it does. But the explosions are contained in a little space. So it doesn't really do much. So let's make the TNTs explode a little bit faster. Okay, this is going to be extremely fast. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Yes! Okay, lastly, this is something really small, but uh, this is pretty cool. So whenever the item dies, it duplicates instead of uh, dying. Flame, and then I'm gonna throw a TNT block in there, and that is gonna be duplicating like that. Whoa! So, okay, flint and steel, duplicate the item. Whoa, now it's two, four, eight, 16, <laughs> nice, 64, and it's gonna go on forever, pretty much. Yeah, this is gonna lag my game. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Boats. What are boats supposed to do? They're supposed to make you um, uh, comfortable in the water, yeah? But instead of the boats doing that, they just run away now. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, so I've made the boat run away faster now. Weather or rain? So instead of raining water, it's gonna rain piss. So the reason why it's yellow is because the exact opposite color of blue is yellow. This wasn't intentional, by the way. And it also sets everything on fire as well. Okay, so this is gonna be extremely weird because I've made darkness into light and I made light into darkness. Oh yeah. The entire world is dark because there's the sun shining. Time said midnight. And this is gonna make the world glow, kind of. So the fire is a glowing thing in Minecraft. So that's why the fire is completely black. And whenever I place down a torch, uh, boom, the torch is gonna be sucking in light. Okay, I'm gonna make a little house, yeah? Boom. Oh, that that was a cobblestone that flows upwards. <laughs> I'm gonna make myself encased in this little space, yeah? There we go. The torch, boom, boom, boom. So this torch is also emitting darkness like this. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we're in the nether. The obsidian is flowing up like that. <laughs> what the frick is that? And this is probably the lava leg. Oh, uh, yep. So the water is supposed to be dark because there's no light in them. But everything else where the light is supposed to be at is dark. So yeah, there was me messing around with the brightness, although I have done it in my past video. So yeah, thank you for watching and here are some more videos you may be interested.